Hey everybody, we're back. My name's Charlie and we're cruising through a Temple 420 Torah tour and Bible study. We've got Bob Marley on. We've got our fire. Where's our wood? Yes, because we do a fire offering from a fire pot that we are a smoking blazing torch. I think those are some of the words of this book. We're gonna be in Matthew 2 for the next couple videos and we're gonna go through the Magi and the birth of Jesus. We're gonna go back to the calling of Jeremiah and see the resemblance. Our sacrifice, just as he said it, right? Just love when the ver when, just love when the words of the song match up with what we're gonna be doing, because everyone knows. No, they don't. We now know that there's an offering because we're supposed to serve our God, just like it says in the Old Testament. Into the temple they went. They brought their daily offerings. They gave it to the Levites, and they filled the temple with the aroma of God. Guess what? The body is the new temple. And we're supposed to fill it with the aroma of buds and blossoms and buds and branches from the land of Cana blossom, Cana blossom. It's all hemp to me. Anyways, so we're going to be in Matthew 2. You guys ready? Here we go. The Magi visit the Messiah. So also Magi, magic, sort of those wandering fools. Not fools, wise men, I'm sorry. That was interesting, wise men. So after Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. It's a great beginning, right? So real quickly, we've got Bethlehem. That's where Jesus was born. It's also known as the house of bread in Hebrew and the house of God, Bethel. And I was just reading about Jacob and Rachel and Bethel. And so really it's El as in God, the house of God, the house of bread. It really is the temple because doesn't God ask King David to what? Yes, who will build me a house of cedar that I can burn on fire and have that aroma burning all day? Will it be you, King David? No, it will be your son. And I will build the temple of man, because I made men. And who will build me a temple on earth where I can dwell in their hearts and I can fill their mind with the flood of thoughts? Ah, uh, I think I am the one. So we continue where, he, where the Magi say, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? Now, real quickly, King Solomon, or before they got to King Saul, Solomon the prophet, God was telling him, hey, they reject you as king, God. Because in the Old Testament, there's only one king. God is everything. And that's good. That's good for me. There's only one head coach, right? So, the last sentence is, we saw his star, palm, the star, the scepter in the sky, the iron scepter. We saw his star from Egypt. Look at Seashat. Look up Seashat and also the Statue of Liberty. But we saw his star and it rose like a bud. It budded from the staff of Aaron and have come to worship him with a burnt offering. Baruch Hashem. We'll be right back for more of the tour.